What's up guys, it's Consistency and I'm gonna install my new hard drive to my PS4. So first of all, I wanna show you guys how you back up your saved data. So first of all, you need PlayStation Plus for this. Um, I'm gonna do it on PlayStation. So I have to close this. So save data in system storage. Up upload to online. I select it. And I just saved this Arsenal career mode, which I'm doing on my channel. So I click update, upload. Um, just click yes. And then I'm gonna show you guys after I download the new, uh, or after I put my hard drive in. But after that, what I would do is go to this, then I click download the system, then I click it, then I, I select, imagine this is the Arsenal one, or not what it's doing now, then I click download. So I do this after I um, install my new hard drive and I'm reinstalling the data. So yeah, so that's just how you download your data. If you have any questions you can put in the comments below and yeah well what's up guys it's consistency here and i just took out my playstation 4 hard drive so i'm gonna unscrew it but first of all let me just kind of like recap what you do so first this is where the hard drive is in um all you do is in just like this and it connects automatically so you don't need to do anything else um secondly this screw right here, I'm gonna see if I can focus on that. This screw is screwed in right here. Um, I actually put that in just a little bit. That's okay. But anyway, this screw would be screwed in right here. This is the only screw you take out. So just take this one out, and that's the only one you do. And then for the top of the PlayStation, all you do, you kind of slide this in, lift it up a little bit, and then you just force it in. You want to take it out, push down a little bit right here. It's kind of tough to do with one hand. You just pull it out. And by the way, always make sure you do the, you turn your system off. Don't put it to standby, just turn it off. So it comes out like that. And then you would unscrew that screw I just told you. And then all you do is pull it out gently. And then what you do next, you're gonna take out all of these screws. So these black screws, you take it out here, you take it out here. And I can't really do that on camera, so I'm gonna take it out off camera and I'm gonna get right back to it. All right guys, so I took all the screws out. Um, they are all right here. I'm gonna use the screwdriver. So, right now, I'm just gonna slide this out. So, this is the hard drive that comes with the PlayStation. Um, I'm gonna leave it like this. And this is the new one and a half terabyte hard drive I just got. So. Just looking at this, I'm going to put it in exactly the same way I took the last one out. I'm just blow out the dust a little bit. And then I'm going to put this one in. And I'm going to put the screws in, and then I'm going to put the hard drive back in. Alright, so I just put in all the screws in the hard drive. Again, this is one and a half terabytes. And it's actually the same speed as the one that came in the PS4. So. I kind of went for a cheaper option. The two terabyte hard drives were a little more, but I didn't have all the money. Um, I should have looked for one with a faster speed. But as you can see right there, it's 5400 RPM. So it's the same. But either way, bigger hard drive, so it helps. I'm gonna slide it in just like this. And that should be that. Then I'm gonna screw the screw in. Um, I'm gonna do it with my fingers. 
Okay, no. So I'm gonna put it in with the screwdriver and I'm gonna put the top back in. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to install the new software. What's up guys, it's Consistency and I'm continuing from my update. So if you wanna install a PS4 hard drive, you go to this page, but we do not click this. This is specifically for an update. Um, if you wanna install the full system software, you click this, just to be sure. Uh, you can go to this one where it says perform a new installation system system software and you click on this folder so right here it says okay first of all you need at least one gigabyte of space on your flash drive second you need to create this folder ps4 and you need to create the update folder i have the update right here so i'm gonna try and put it okay that phone actually needs to be open so i'm gonna go to my flash drive Update, I'm gonna put it in there. And then it's gonna do this. And you're not gonna have the option to choose the the update when you install it. The PS4 is gonna automatically do it on its own. So you really have to put in in like put all these labels in the right way. You have to have the PS4 folder and you have to have this update folder in all capital letters. Just for safe measures, I cleared my flash drive because I used it for my recordings. So just to make sure, I just cleared it. So yeah, here's the file size. And you can see the date right here. So yeah. So that's that. And I'm going to head back to the console. So now I'm going to connect the flash drive. I'm gonna hold this for about seven seconds so it starts into safe mode. Okay, so we have to connect to DualShock controller with the USB cable. And I've done that. This one's kind of messed up, so I don't know how it's gonna if it's still gonna work. All right, so I changed the cable. And what we're gonna do is initialize PS4, reinstall system software. So you wanna do that one. Um, I'm going to press OK. So when this comes up, just click yes. And it's going to say initializing PS4. saying preparing to update your system software And I can hear it restarting. All right, so I did just sit down and this is the next page that comes up. So I'm gonna just skip ahead for you guys. So that just finished and it's gonna restart again. The blue light just came on. And if I'm right, it should be just like getting a new hard drive or a new PlayStation. So it might ask me to sign in and everything again.
All right, so it just works right now. I'm in the United States. Um, who's next? And then I just have to reset up the PlayStation 4 Wi-Fi and everything. So I'll come back and show you guys how the storage looks. All right, guys. So I just went through the whole setup. It made this user for me. And Destiny was already in the console. I didn't take it out, so it just installed. But this, let me just see the storage. How much storage I have. So you see I have 1.32 terabytes left. So the application is 19. So Destiny right now is 20 gigabytes about. With all the updates it's gonna have and everything else, it's gonna go way up. It's probably gonna be around 50 gigs, so that's that. But anyway, you can subtract 19 from that, and I probably have around um, 1.5 terabytes. So yeah, I think that's about how much. But anyway, everything else is there. I'm gonna reinstall everything. And right, I'm gonna show you guys how to download uh, your data back if you save it to the PlayStation Cloud. So guys, earlier I saved my my uh, FIFA data to the PlayStation Cloud, and that's really the only game I have like save data on that I I'd want to keep for YouTube. So I go to this save data online storage. I click download. And then I just find FIFA 17. Click here. And then I click Arsenal and my Madrid one. Uh, just make sure it's the last ones you have. And I click download. Oh. Okay. So this is a fail on my part. But you guys already have FIFA 17. So, or whatever game it is you want to. Uh, we're going to say data back. We just do that method. Um, I just installed a hard drive and I didn't download FIFA 17 just yet. But I'm going to. So as long as you have PlayStation Plus and as long as it doesn't expire before you do this, um, that's going to be good. Um, let me just get a purchase. You have to download Black Ops 3. Um, pretty much all these games. It's gonna warfare, and that's gonna be like a lot of space. But this is that's really the main reason I got the game, or I got the hard drive. And then I'm gonna have to download FIFA 16 again because I first just play online or on the PS Store, and FIFA 17 is here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download that out right away, and it's gonna take a while. So anyway, hope you guys know how you how this works now. Please add it to my downloads. This probably might be faster to get a hard drive now. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, here's the old hard drive I just took out. And yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this guys helped you. Hope this helped you if you need help um, getting or upgrading your hard drive and consistency out.